Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Overnight, the Australian dollar eased from the 75.65 high, also the resistance as the greenback staged a modest recovery. Later in today, at 11.30, the RBA is to publish the minutes of its latest policy meeting. No surprises are expected from the release at 11.30. Then later, we have China to release its fixed asset investment and also industrial production. Keep an eye on those numbers because it could actually see a little splurge to the upside and give a little bit of volatility in the Australian dollar, as it still holds to a bullish stance. I do expect to see another retest towards the top side, which is seen at 75.65 and looking to sell into any strength from 76 figure 25. Support on a day seen at 75.05. Overnight, the Euro took a little bit of uh, casualty when the balls took the test to the upside and was slightly shy of his objective of 120.35.45 after printing a high of 119.95. Overall, I still expect to see one more test at least to the upside, and any moves above 120 will be an opportunity to shorten the market, as I feel overall we could see a turnaround eventually back towards 118, which was the recent low. With the dollar index rising from 92.09 low last night to a high of 92.48, does question whether it can sustain in the interim. If so, then the euro will probably not last to any rally and instead resume to the downside. But at present, from a technical point, it still holds for one more test at least towards that region of 120 to 45. Well, the dollar yen is currently challenging that level of 109.70 after, after staging a pretty much a relative bullish move from the low 109. Failing to get the opportunity from the dip, the market may break the top side and if so, could look towards 110.45.55 to 111.25. Support, if seen, would uh, provide an opportunity to buy from 108.70.80. Well, with three doges in play and a potential base forming from 134.65.70, it's now questionable that the market is showing indecisiveness to the bearish conflict. Measuring the quality of the daily technical, I believe the market is looking for a further test up. And if so, we could be looking towards the region of 136.65 as immediate target. As I mentioned, the base is forming from around 134.65.70. So let's see if we, we can stage a rally into to tonight when we have the release of the UK wage growth data for March or the average earnings. Along with that, we have the US retail sales for April. So this may provide some volatility and could see a splurge to the upside from a technical point. It is supporting this view. The gold slipped overnight as the US dollar staged slight recovery and now falling back towards the region of 1,309 as a support. Beneath there, I still expect to see good demand come back into play with the base or the bullish foundations holding at 1,300. I eventually expect to see a move up to 30 and reassess from there. And finishing off with oil, the market at this stage is attempting to recover after the brief sell-off from the recent highs of uh, 71 and a half. Overall, from a technical point, I'm not bullish. And I think this is just a bit of noise that's trading back in the market. And I do expect to see a pullback to $66 a barrel while the cap is intact at $72 a barrel. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.